bro, do you want eternal life? Do you want eternal life? Christ said that he gave eternal life to a specific people, right? John 3, 16, right? That whosoever believeth in him, in him shall have eternal life. Now, who was the people that Christ was talking about? Huh? Everyone, right? That's what we think. God, get a brother some water. Get a brother some water. Get a brother some water. God says that, Christ, Christ said that he gave eternal life to the world, right? Now, let's see. Give me John chapter uh, 17, verse 9. <laughs> let's see, because there's going to be contradictions that will contradict the Bible. But you must go precept upon precept. That's, That's right. what he says. John 17, verse 9. <laughs> John. Chapter 17, verse 9. I pray for them. God, Christ says, I pray for them. I pray for them. If you say them, you're pointing out a specific people. He said, I pray for them. Read. I pray not. I pray what? I pray not Come on. for the world. Whoa. But did you know Christ didn't pray for the world? But it says that he gave eternal life to the world. Bring it out. But it says, I don't pray. Christ just said, I don't pray for the world. Explain that scripture to me, brother. With that understanding that, we that we've that we been having, it said that Christ said he don't pray for the world. So what does he mean? Read. <clears throat> I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Come on. But for them which thou hast given so me. who was given to Christ? Who was given to Christ that Christ came and died for? Because Christ said, I only pray for the ones that you gave me. Give me, hold that, give me Matthew 15, 24. Bring it up. Hold that, give me Matthew 15, 24. Bring it Matthew, up. Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. So let's see the people that Christ was given. Read. But he answered and said, uh -huh. I am not sent. Come on. But unto the lost sheep of the house of his will. Wait a second, brother. Wait a second. Christ said, I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's the people that Christ said he was only sent to pray for. That's right. These are the people that Christ said was given to him. Right. Did you know that Christ was sent as a king over Israel? Read that. Give me, uh, now, now give me, go back to John 17 verse 9. Let's go precept upon precept. Did you know that's how you have to read the Bible? Precept upon precept. I mean, you have to link up what was written in one section to what was written to a, in another section. Right. I can be talking to you, right? And I can say, yeah, bro. I can say, man, yeah, I love. He said, bro, I can be talking about, like, uh, I can be talking about hanging around brothers as opposed to hanging around men. I'm like, yeah, I love brothers, man. And somebody can interpret that by me saying, what? I'm homosexual, right? But you got to understand what I'm talking about by, guess what, understanding the precepts. Does that right. make sense? Let's see. John 17, verse 9. Come on. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Christ did not pray for the world. That's right. He only prayed for the children of Israel. Read. But for them which thou hast given me. Come on, come on. For they are thine. So now, go to John 3, 16, because guess what? Now it sounds like it's a, it's, 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 it don't sound right, right? Because Christ said, guess what, read. John 3, 16. Uh -huh. For God so loved the world uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten son. Come on. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So guess what? What are you into? Are you into the sports world? You into the swimming world? Are you into, you ever heard those things before? Disney world? You ever heard those things? Guess what? There's many different worlds. So guess what? Christ was saying he, he sent for specific people. You ever heard the term, you in a world of your own? Guess what? These are the things, it's in the Bible that this is what it's talking about. Right. Now let's see what the world was that Christ said he was sent for. Let's see. Give me Isaiah 45 verse 17. No, no. This is the true understanding of the... You got to get this, brother. I'm not shaking it until this, until this scripture come out. Five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. I'm going to shake it, though. But give me this one right here. Give me this one. Come Isaiah on. chapter 45 verse 17. Don't let anybody confuse you, brother. This is the world that Christ was talking about in the Bible. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. Do you see yourself on that side? That means you're the children of Israel, brother. That's right. The prophecies in the Bible that was going to happen to God's chosen people, it happened to us. Right. Slavery on slave ships is a prophecy in the Bible. Right. The children of Israel, according to uh, Je Jeremiah 14 and 2, are black people. Right. Christ was black, right? right? Everybody knows that. But what color was Christ's mother then? What color was his cousins? He had brothers and sisters. What right. color are his people? That's right. If he was black. You understand that? It ain't just a black person to just pop out of uh, some white person behind. You understand that? Bring it out. Read. But Israel. But what? But Israel. These are the people. This is the world guys are talking about. Read. Shall be saved in the Lord. He said Israel is going to be saved. So if you don't know that you're the children of Israel, guess what? There's no salvation for you, brother. Right. Read. With an everlasting salvation. Let's see what Christ calls. Let's see what the Bible calls the children of Israel. Read. Ye shall not. Be ashamed, nor confound. Come on. World. What? World. What? World. What? World. Come on. Without end. Christ called the 
children of Israel the world without end, bro. That's right. Give me that in John, in, in, in John chapter what, 17, 19. Is that it? I spoke openly to the world. I spoke openly to the world. Give me that scripture. I spoke openly to the world. Because Christ always referred to the children of Israel as the world, brother. Read. John chapter 18, verse 20. Come on. Jesus answered him. I spoke openly to the world. So no, did Christ elevate himself into the middle of the world and just spoke to every country? No, he was in Jerusalem. Read. I ever taught in the synagogue. So Christ said, I always spoke to the world. I always taught in the synagogue. And in the... Get a flyer. We're interested and we're going to Bible study. Get a flyer. Guess what? Ask them what John 316 means now. Okay. If you go going to Bible study, they better bring out some precept yeah, then, brother. Please. Isaiah 28 verse 11. <laughs> Isaiah 28 verse 11. Because guess what? If they teach contrary to what you just learned, they're the devil. Believe that. Precept. Isaiah 28 verse 10. For precept must be above precept. Come on. Precept above precept. So now, God says when you're deciphering the word, you must have precepts. Two scriptures must link together. Read. Line upon line. Come on. Line upon line. Come on. Here a little and there a little. All right. Now let's continue to get into the understanding of Jesus Christ. Revelation 1.14. What color was Christ in the Bible? Bring it out. Because I watch, I watch the movies all the time. That got Jesus as being white. Right. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it out. His hands and his hair were white like wool. Now, who has white woolly hair on this earth? Who has hair like wool? If you go into a sheep, that's black hair. Christ's hair was black afro hair. Right. Now, today they call it nappy hair. Today they call it nappy hair. But right. that, the Bible says, that Christ's hair was like wool. Read. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now his eyes were as a flame of fire because he drank wine. Now, why does your Christian pastor say you can't drink wine? That's making your own doctrine. Right. Give me that uh, Genesis 49 verse 11 or 12. Uh. We're what are we reading? The Bible. That's right. What are we teaching? The truth according right. to the Bible. Right. That's right. It's high time, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, wake up out of your sleep. Many of you don't know that you are asleep because of the lies taught to you in the Bible. That's why we kill each other. That's why we hate each other. That's why we hold on to every word that the white man says about our people. Read. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. This is the prophecy of Jesus Christ. It said his eyes was going to be red with wine. Read. And his teeth white with milk. Now, sis. Keep reading. Go to, uh, uh, go to Revelation. Keep on Revelation. Revelation 1, verse 14. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Christ's head and his hairs were white like wool. Similar to this brother right here. Similar to this brother right here. Read. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Come on. And his feet. Christ's feet. His skin. What? Like unto fine brass. Fine brass. Brass is a derivative of brown. So who is the white image of Christ that we're seeing in the Passion of Christ? All you sisters love that movie. Y'all crying. Oh, not my white Jesus. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So Christ was like he was burnt in the oven. That's now, right. You ever heard when the brothers is like, but you like you was burnt. You black as hell. Christ is black. Right. Christ was black. That's Let's right. go into more of the color. Let me take this chapter 5 verse 10. We're going to show you according to the Bible that guess what? The children of Israel are black. You are the children of Israel. That's right. Read. Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 10. Come on. Our skin was black. Our skin was what? Was black. Was what? Was black. The children of Israel are black, according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Read. Like an oven, because of the terrible famine. No, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother in the blue. My brother in the blue. Did you hear? That Christ, that the children of Israel are black people? Read it again. Read it again for the brothers. <laughs> our skin was black. Our what? Our skin. Our skin was black. Was black. So guess what? It says that our skin 
was black. The children of the children of Israel in the Bible had black skin, brother. Read the, give me uh, Song of Solomon 1 and 5. Give me Song of Solomon 1 and 5. Come on. Song of Solomon 1 and 5. <laughs> Because guess what? What color do they show the Jews to be now? Well, they show them to be white. But the Bible says that they're black. Do you see a problem in that? Absolutely. <clears throat> so what's the pro why would they do that, brother? Now we're walking around as what? African American, right? We say, we, we commemorate this because guess what? We don't know what our history is. We think that, the, 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 that our history started as slavery and this is a step up. So damn it, I'm going to the march. I'm gonna celebrate this history right here. That's not true according to the Bible. Right, read. Right. Song of Song. Chapter you know one. Who Solomon is? He was the what? The wisest man that ever stepped foot on this earth, right? Read. Chapter one, verse five. Come on. I am black. I am what? I am black. I am what? I am black. Come on. But come, oh ye daughters of Jerusalem. So now it says Solomon, King Solomon was black. Now you got two instances in the Bible where it says they were black. Show me a scripture where in the Bible it says that it was white. You can't find it. It's not there, because guess what? The children of Israel are black according to the Bible. That's right. right. Now, what's your nationality? You're black. That's the color. But guess what? Solomon said he stated the color of a people he already knew the nationality of. So we're black in color, we're dark in color, but our nationality is the children of Israel. That's right. Hey, look at this sign right here. You see this? All these people are the children of Israel. How do we know that, right? That's the question you might be asking. Now they're just making things up. They're trying to lump people together and give them false hope, right? But let's see. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. Bring it out. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Who was, what was, who was Deuteronomy written to? Did God, did God grab a cloud out of the sky and just write it over to the whole world and slap it down on earth? No. He gave it to who? To who? Guess it would be Deuteronomy. No, Deuteronomy <laughs> is the book. It's the yeah. title of the book, right? Uh -huh. So the Deuteronomy is written to who? Let's see. Let's get the answer for you today. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. This is the truth according to the Bible. Let's get it. Come on. These be the words. Come on. Which so Moses, Deuteronomy is the words. Read. Which Moses. Which Moses. Read. Spake unto all Israel. Now, now we see that Deuteronomy is written to who? All Israel. Deuteronomy all is written Israel. by Moses to who? Israel. To Israel. The children of Israel. Now, let's see what Moses said in Deuteronomy to the children of Israel. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Come on. And it shall come to pass. Uh huh. If thou shalt hearken diligently. Who is the thou? Because I'm Moses, right? And I say thou. But the Bible just told you that I'm Moses and who that thou is, right? So who is the thou? The Israelites, all Israel. Perfect, brother. Continue. If thou shalt hearken diligently. So the, if the Israelites were to listen to the Lord, right? Read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Come on. To observe and to do all its commandments. Because God has commandments for the children of Israel out here. Right. These black people that you read about in the Bible, these children of Israel are still here today. Right. Read. Which I command thee this day. Come on. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high uh -huh. above all nations of the earth. Now guess what, brother? Your, 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 your glasses are above your nose. You understand that? So guess what? You have to have your nose there for your glasses to be in comparison to your nose. You understand that? So that means that guess what? Somebody has to be on the bottom. Somebody has to be on the top. And God says that if the Israelites keep his commandments, they were going to be what? On the bottom or on the top? On the top. Right. Now, if the Israelites are black today, right? If we know Israelites as being black, are they on the top or the bottom? They're on the bottom, right? So now you say, what? Okay, I'm reading that the children of Israel is black. It says they're supposed to be at the top. What happened? We're going to see in the Bible. Give me that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Come on. But, it but, but it's a strong word. It's a contract. Meaning, guess what? If you kept the commandments, you're going to be on top. If you break the stipulation of the contract, you're going to get punishment. This is the punishment. Read. But it shall come to pass. Come on. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. To observe, to do all his commandments. Come on. And his statutes. So we were supposed to be doing like his commandments, right? Read. Which I command thee this day. Come on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So does it not seem like the children of Israel, the blacks, are always in, the, in on the bottom? They're always in turmoil, right? We don't know why, right? Why, Lord? Why? Why? This is happening to us. But in the Bible, it already tells us that guess what? It's because we broke his commandments. Now let's see. Deuteronomy 28, 46. Now it's going to be a specific list. Because you might say, you might say, guess what? The Jews, 
The Jews went into hardships too, right? The Holocaust, right? But God is going to give you a specific list of what's supposed to happen to his children. The Jewish, right? The people you think are the Jews. But God said the Jews are black according to the Bible. Hold that thought. Read this. Deuteronomy 28 verse 46. Come on. And they shall be upon thee. Come close, sister. Come close. Come close, sister. Read. For a sign. So guess what? The children of Israel were going to have these curses, this laundry list of incidents happened to them as a sign, right? Meaning, guess what? It was going to identify. Identify. You understand that? Yeah. Come on. For a sign and for a one. Come closer, sister. Come on. See this sign. Read. And upon thy seed. Your what? Thy seed uh -huh. forever. So are we the same? Are, were we there in the time of Moses? Well, was you there in the time of Moses? No. But guess what? We're the seed of the children of Israel. So let's see if we, if we, uh, if we hold these curses. Let's see if this happened to us. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 32. Deuteronomy 28, 32. Because guess what? You know they're black. You read that. But there's many black people on the earth, right? So let's see if we are those black people. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Did that happen to us? Was our sons and our daughters given to another people? What's your name, brother? Chris? I'm David, all right? So Chris, our sons and daughters was given to another people. What people was our sons and daughters given to? The other people. European people, right? As well as what? The Arab people as well. Yeah. That's called slavery, brother. Ah. Right. Now, let's see. Would another would another group of people be able to say, well, my, son, my, my forefather's sons and daughters were taken to another people? Did that happen to the Arab man? When? Now you're on. No, 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 no. We're not talking properties, right? We know history, so there's no probably about it. Why is it that it's not a probably for our people? We know it to be true. But now you can't show me in the Bible. You can't show me in history when it happened to an Arab people. Show me in history when it happened to a Chinese person. Because guess what? The Lord said it was going to be science. Meaning, guess what? You can't have two McDonald's signs in one thing. One of them's got to be McDonald's. You understand that? Yeah. We are the children of Israel. Meaning, guess what? These signs are going to be on our people. That's right. You understand that? So, no. That's, that sign is on us. Let's get some more. Read. And thine that's eyes. The, that's the woolly hair that said Christ had in the Bible right there. That's beautiful. Read. And thine eyes Come on. shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So, guess what? You ever seen Roots? Yeah. So, did, they, did our, did our four, four mothers not cry for their babies? When they had their baby, had to go all the way down to the Johnson Plantation in South Carolina, they was in Arkansas. You understand that? We was gonna look and cry for our people, read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Now, when the Arab people came in 9-11, right? And they killed a thousand people. Was there might in, in, in America's hands to get those people, I mean, to, 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 to re retaliate? They retaliating up right now. They're dropping bomb upon bomb upon bomb for what happened to those people. What, what retaliation have we done? We don't have the might to. Military might. Political might. We don't have the might. We don't even have the might to get our own last name back. What's your last name? Miller. Miller. Where do you think that last name came from? Are you Dutch, brother? The, the slave master was the Dutch man. So you only got the might to get your own last name back. That is a curse in the Bible. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.